Today we're going to make an Italian grinder salad that's kind of reminiscent of having an Italian sub sandwich without the bread. You can make this any way that you would like. I just randomly pulled out a bunch of ingredients out of my refrigerator and pantry that I'm going to be using in the salad today. So I have some cucumbers and peppers and red onions that were stored in my refrigerator. And then how I always, when I buy lunch meat, especially because it's so expensive lately, I will divide the package up and put half of it into the freezer so it's not going bad in the refrigerator. And then I can pull it out as I need it. So I have some different lunch meats here like you would put on an Italian sub sandwich. I have some turkey and salami and there's some ham left over from some pizzas that we made the other day, which we have a video about those too. And then fun fact, there are black olives here in this jar. I absolutely hate hate black olives. So when I'm making this, I will not add like little chopped ones to the salad. I keep them whole and big so I can pick them out easily, which is the same thing for tomatoes for Mike because he does not like tomatoes. So it's easy when you keep the pieces bigger that you can pick them out if you don't like them. Um, we have some little tiny pepperonis here that we can add. I have some canned artichokes. And then whenever I get mozzarella balls from Costco and they come in that skinny flat container, I always put it in a jar and then they store easier in the refrigerator and don't take up so much awkward space in the refrigerator. And you can add any kind of beans to this that you want. So I'm going to make the salad for you. This is a great salad to make when you're trying to use up some produce items in your fridge because you can literally throw anything in here. I'm going to throw the cucumbers in. This green pepper. Oh, I have a little bit of the salami there too. <laughs> this red pepper I cut about a week ago and it's been in the refrigerator with a metal lid. So we're going to use that. And then about half of a red onion also in the refrigerator with a metal lid. I probably could have cut those smaller. We'll throw in, this is salami. And I had turkey here. Oh, I didn't finish cutting that. Oh, we have some more olives. <laughs> I don't want to pour the juice in there. If you would like the black olive juice in there, feel free. <laughs> really, black olives are like one of the only produce items that I will not eat. <laughs> some tomatoes. Put some of the little pepperonis. These were left over from some pizzas that we were making. Here's some pepperoncinis. Actually, I like to cut the um, banana peppers up. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. I'm gonna, normally, we'll divide these at least into half just so they spread out a little bit. We always buy these mozzarella balls during the summertime and we always have basil growing either in the kitchen or out in the garden and we make the caprese skewers which is also really good if you do it with fresh peaches. Okay I'm gonna throw that in there. I promise my hands are clean. Okay, these are garbanzo beans. You can add any kind of beans to them. Just make sure that you rinse them off when you get them out of the can so they're not slimy in your salad. So I'm gonna add those to this and we're gonna mix it up. It's starting to look pretty there. I forgot to add the ham, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of that. And this is just Canadian bacon that I had left over and it's a great way to just use it up. So this is literally like whatever your family likes to eat, pull it out of the refrigerator and start using it up in this kind of salad. This does not have any dressing on it yet. We're going to talk about that in a second. But this salad, you could um, put it, pre-prep it into mason jars and put it into the refrigerator with the dressing on and it would stay fresh depending on what meats you put in it about four to five days in the refrigerator if you're trying to do like a mom lunch over the summertime and want it just for yourself or it is great to make for a party having it just like this or spending one extra dollar and doubling it in size and making it a pasta salad so that's what we're going to do today is add this um pasta to it so you can literally just stretch it out and make this go even further by adding pasta so if you don't want to add pasta you can add greens to this you can add more beans it's just very versatile 
and can become an Italian pasta salad. Um, if you want it, this is a great item to take to a barbecue or a summer gathering. All right, these are some of the ingredients that I use to make the dressing and season the salad, but you don't have to use everything. I'm just gonna kind of talk through them. I like to use some of the oil that's in with the mozzarella balls since I have extra. I wanna make sure that I don't take out more oil than what the cheese level is in the jar. So I'll be using this, but you can use extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil if you wanna use that. And then you can use red wine vinegar or balsamic vinegar. Funny enough, I'm out of balsamic vinegar, but we use this glaze all the time. So I will be topping the top of the salad with this glaze because we love it so much. This is available at Costco. And we just learned recently that you don't store it in the refrigerator. So we didn't know why it always got so hard. And um, it's actually meant to be stored in the cupboard and not in the refrigerator, even after being opened. So if you have this in your refrigerator, take it out. Adding juice of a lemon will just brighten up the flavors. And we're using basically Mike's salad dressing recipe that he uses on most salads. We tease that it's Mike's basic salad dressing. But for this, I do add some of the juice from the banana peppers. Banana peppers and pepperoncinis are really similar um, and it'll help give a little bit of tang to the salad. So whatever liquid you're using, it's a third, a third, and a third. A third ratio of oil, a third ratio of vinegar, and a third ratio of the juices. So just to make this easy, I'm going to actually measure it this time. I never normally measure things. And I'm going to say that we're going to use about a quarter cup each. And then you can um, dress this either with salt, pepper, and garlic. You can put oregano, Italian seasoning on it. I have some fresh basil and some fresh parsley that we are going to put on that. And then I'm going to grate some fresh parm on top of the salad and this will be perfect. Did you know the lemon's supposed to go facing down like this in the juicer? This is a really big lemon, but then it inverts itself. So I'm going to add some pepperoncini or banana pepper juice. Never measured garlic in my life. <laughs> so I'm putting a tablespoon of garlic herb seasoning in there. And Shake, 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 shake. And I can just put these all together. This is fresh basil in my kitchen from my Click and Grow garden. If you don't use all the dressing, you can save this for another salad. Some parm. And my favorite thing is this balsamic glaze. So this salad really ended up being a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and cleaning up things that I had in the refrigerator that we needed to use up, and we made this great big gigantic bowl of salad. But if you were just going to make a personal size one of this for today, just make sure that you dish everything up that you want in the bowl, and when you're making the salad dressing, use the third ratio for the oil, vinegar, and juices. So I hope you enjoy the salad. We're going to make a playlist of all of our summer recipes so make sure that you're subscribing and liking this recipe so you can see more of our videos.